Hi, let's do a short tutorial on some text, on very basic text, fu text functions. Uh, so in Excel, those would be left, mid, and right to uh, parse some uh, parts of text strings. So uh, how do we do that in, um, in R? So let's delete and clear up our uh, working space. Uh, import a small data set and write it to uh, the working directory. I already have it open, so you can ignore this error. It's right here. And basically what this is is a um, is just a, a mangled date column which comes in here uh, with the um, a semicolon delimiter. So we want to make sense of that. So for the year, we would do something like left. Um, and we would want to um, take the first four, right? For the month, we would want to take a, the mid, and we want to start at the fifth, no, the sixth column, the sixth character, and uh, take two additionals, right? So start at six, take two more. And for day, uh, we want to take the right two. So Sorry about that. Okay, and so, and now to get a proper date, you would simply do date and year, month, and day. Easy enough. Now let's replicate that in R. So it's not much more difficult than R, but the logic is a little bit different, so uh, pay attention. Okay, so. Um, Let's call this crappy date. So crappy date is going to be um, the first. Well, if we look at DF, right? DF is a data frame. Okay, so we don't want that. We need a vector, um, even though it's it's a uh, uh, basically just a one-column data frame. It's still a data. It's still by by default when you import a CSV, it imports it as a, da a data frame. So you're not going to be able to do uh, a vector function on it. So let's just so let's just take the um, first column, so to speak, from uh, from the F and uh, and leave it as a vector. So we take all the rows in column number one. Okay. So um, let's have a look at that. That's it. That's the uh, uh, character vector. And now we're going to use the substring uh, function. Okay, so let's have year be the substring. And the way this works is we take the the vector we want to uh, substring from, or the or the object we want to substring from, which is crappy date. Okay, and we start at one. And notice this is a little bit uh, different than um, uh, then Excel, it do, you don't tell it how many steps to go, you tell it where to stop. So we start at 1 and we stop at 4. And that's going to be our year. And that's the equivalent of a left function. Okay, and then we have, let's do our month. So that's going to be substring substring and that's going to be crappy date and here we're going to start at six and we're where in Excel you would tell it count another two here you tell it to stop at seven okay so that's going to be and that's going to be your mid equivalent oops I just have a redundant parentheses parentheses here all right so that is our month and now let's do our day and here we uh, apply the same uh, the same kind of logic that you would in Excel with length. Only in R, uh, length uh, uh, measures the length of a uh, how, uh, basically the length of a vector, how many elements are in a vector, whereas nchar is what measures how many uh, string characters are in a string, in a character string. So, so we want to take crappy date. 
and we want to count how many um, uh, um, characters are in each string and then we want to subtract one from that and that's where we want to start and then we want to stop at the next one so now let's see how that works great so we have our days so now we have our year our month our days and these are uh, three new vectors and we can now paste them into a new proper date which is just going to be year, month, and day. And here we have a proper day vector. And if you want to, uh, oh, sorry about that. Forgot to put separator equals hyphen. OK, so now we have a proper date. Um, uh, a proper date vector. If you want to make sure that uh, there's nothing wrong with it, you can uh, add as uh, POSIX CT and that'll make sure that it's uh, uh, um, adherent to, to the POSIX standard of, uh, of time and date. And uh, a nice way to, uh, to check it, let's import, or it's already imported, so I'm just going to run the Lubridate package, which uh, makes it very easy in Excel-like to uh, extract stuff from um, from uh, date and time format. So let's now do month date, okay? And you get the all the month numbers, uh, day, date, and so that's uh, that's just similar to to Excel. These are not functions from base R. These are functions from Lubridate. So I hope you find this uh, useful the thing to take to remember from here is simply that the logic is take the text, start and stop instead of take the text, start and count how many steps you want to you want to go. So that's uh, that's how you do left mid and right in R.